So you may have noticed I haven't done the wheel alignment yet. Um, I have this straight edge which comes in two pieces. And just screw it together to join them to get a straight edge. To make sure it's straight, I use my spirit level, hold it against it, make sure that the gaps have gone all the way up. And I just nip up the screws. Got it. Alright, so I've got a straight edge. I've also made up this little dude. This thing clamps over the ridge on the front wheel, on the uh, steel chrome wheels. And then this is a guide centered on this groove either side. The dimensions don't matter, I think it's five and a half inch wide. I centered it on, but it could be any number. So you want to make sure you get the same kind of numbers on each side when you've got the straight edge held up against the tyre I'll show you how it works Alright, so you want to set the wheel up so you've got a nice big spoke gap right at the bottom directly underneath the axle have the wheel pointing straight ahead jam the tool on there it is jammed on it's ready for the straight edge right, I would love to use the centre stand with this but it gets in the way which is unfortunate what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the straight edge Hold it up against the tyre, front and back, and then see where it lines up on the gauge at the front. So I'm going to set the camera to be on the front, so I can see where it lines up. Okay, so I've got the uh, straight edge set up on the right hand side, touching the tyre both sides. And then when you view it from the back, you can check the alignment marks all the way down the front. So it's lining up about a quarter of an inch in. And here's the straight edge set up on the left side, touching the tyre. And you look down the front. That one's on the half mark, so I do need to adjust it very slightly to the left. Right, so I can't use the center stand in this straight edge method because the center stand gets in the way. Uh, but I do need to make an adjustment, which means I've got to get access to the axle, which of course is hidden by the mufflers. How clever. Oh, but look, I can get there. How am I doing that? <gasps> well, let's go around this side of the bike. Something's missing. Can you see what it is? Yes, yeah, the shock on this side. Took it off. So it's only supported by one shock on the other side, and that raises the axle above, just above the level of the muffler. Not quite, but close enough that I can force it on. Now I can loosen the axle, do the adjustment, make the alignment. Bob's your uncle. I'm going to slacken off this adjuster by six turns. One, two, flat rather. Three, four. Five, six. Now, according to my theory, if I pull up on the chain, that gap that I just generated in there should close. So let's have a, let's have a look, see if we can actually see that. It's quite hard to tell, but I'll pull up on the chain, see if it closes. Yeah, it did. So, it's good. Okay, a little bit of philosophy um, with wheel alignment. Uh, my eyes aren't that good anymore, so I can't do it by sight. Uh, wear glasses, so every time I use glasses, lines that are straight are curved. So uh, it's really difficult. So I came up with this method because I couldn't understand the string method. I couldn't justify how the string method worked if you turn the handlebars very, very slightly. Uh, doesn't that change everything? I don't know. I couldn't figure it out. I gave it a go. Uh, it didn't work for me. So I came up with this. This is, I'm using a straight edge that I know is straight. I'm using dimensions that are fixed. Um, my wheel alignment is within, well, that's quarter inch, eighth of an inch over the wheel length of the bike. Um, that's going to be close enough for the kind of riding I'm doing. I mean, it's not precision, uh, but 
I don't know, it works for me. The thing is, there's a, there's a lot of different solutions. Different solutions work for different people. Um, and I'm not going to naysay that the string method doesn't work or any other method doesn't work. Clearly they do. If you want to align the chain, that's fine. Uh, I like to align the wheels and bugger the chain. Uh, they seem to last long enough now anyway. So, it's what I do. Take it or leave it.